It might be hard to tell, but this jacket I'm wearing actually has a Reco reflector in it. It's hard to see. It's actually located right here on the shoulder. It's really small technology that can have a big benefit. Helicopter video showed how painstaking some aspects of avalanche recovery can be. Searchers at one point were using long probes to poke through the snow looking for a missing skier. It wouldn't be until this special device came out that the skier would be located. It's called RECO, and it's a detection system designed specifically for locating avalanche victims. In this case, it was being used by Two Bear Air, a helicopter rescue company from Montana. They say it's the first time they used this device on a mission. I mean, Two Bear Air has been a godsend to the entire Northwest. In this case, the victim was wearing a RECO reflector. Here's what one of them looks like. It's about the size of a stick of gum and is commonly sewn into ski jackets. This industry is continuing to try and evolve and be safer and make things easier. Drew Harding is part owner of Spokane's Alpine House Ski Shop. He says with each passing year, they see additional pieces of gear like helmets and goggles carrying RECO reflectors. People are just trying to get safer as they're skiing. I mean, you're in the elements, you need stuff that's gonna protect you and keep you safe, and this is just uh, another way to do that. So how does it work? This video comes from the RECO company, which is based in Europe. Essentially, searchers use detectors that emit a directional radar signal. If a RECO reflector is nearby, the signal is echoed back to the detector, giving hints as to where and how close the person wearing a reflector is. The detectors include small handheld versions or the big ones carried by Two Bear Air. Skiers like Harding remark how tragic the Silver Mountain Avalanche has been for everyone involved. But if there's one takeaway, it's that this technology not only worked, but hopefully gave a family closure. Knowing that and seeing actually how this, this technology has played a, a role in, in helping some people has been kind of op eye-opening and, and cool to see how they, how they used it. In Spokane, Taylor Vido, Creme 2 News.